I am a synthetic human being. A human forged by human hand. The one who created me, my mother and teacher. Her name is Daughter, a researcher from Conria, also known as Gold. A synthetic human? What the... How the heck does that work? When the pinnacle of attainment in alchemy is combined with unimaginably vast learning, the apex achievement is the creation of human life. When you say Conria, do you mean... I am indeed somewhat older than my appearance might suggest. But when I came into being, Conria had already been destroyed. I have no memories of it. My master raised me and taught me everything. Like her, I am a pure alchemist. I live for academic knowledge. Nationality and identity are not what ultimately define us. Traveler, what is your general feeling toward Dragonspine? You've visited numerous times now. Would you say it's a cold, eerie, and melancholy place? Rhindaughter created two miraculous beings. One is me, and the other is the venomous dragon, Durin, who died here. Durin? So that makes you guys... brothers? As sons of Rhindaughter, Durin and I are indeed inextricably linked to one another. The phenomenon of our creation defies definition within the scope of a typical human worldview. But if we may tentatively call it birth, then yes, we, by extension, are family. Um, speaking of Durin, Paimon remembers that his power was quite special. That's right. Because of this, whenever strange things happen on Dragonspine, it always makes me wonder. For instance, the feeling of being watched that you described, as well as the sounds you heard, and the one impersonating me that Eula met. Oh, right! Paimon knows what you mean! When Eula and the others were here just now, the Traveler gave me a look as if to say, don't say anything. Probably because it would only make you more suspicious, so Paimon kept quiet. But Paimon noticed that you came out of the cavern not too long after going in, and you told us that you didn't manage to catch the thief. Then we heard Bennett calling for help, so we went to rescue him. But strangely, you didn't come with us. And when we got back to the cavern to go find you, suddenly you were the one looking for us. So, it seems that you met my imposter too. Well, if so, it was a pretty good impression. He had you down to a T. We never would have guessed. Also, after he left us, why did he go after Joel? Perhaps Durin's power drives people to madness. But that's merely crude conjecture. Whether someone is impersonating me or there is another false me out there, this is a cursed tale. And it is not one whose weight you should have to bear. Traveler, perhaps you should return to Mondstadt if you have no further business here. The work that lies ahead will occupy me completely. I'm afraid I will be unable to entertain you beyond this point. Yeah! We're Dragonspine veterans by now! If there's something really bad going on, we can't just leave you here to deal with it on your own! That wouldn't be very nice now, would it? Besides, there's no one else in Mondstadt that you can talk to about this. Sucrose and Timaeus don't know your... secret. Push us away at a time like this! All right. Thank you. You were intending to participate in that winter camp, if I recall correctly. That could serve as an excellent pretext for you to remain on the mountain. In that case, please join in the activities of the Adventurer's Guild as planned. And be on the lookout for any leads while you're at it. If anyone sees me, or someone like me, straight on to you. Good. Then we're agreed. Okay. 
Let's split up to look for clues. Then meet back here at this camp in a few days' time. Sounds good to me. But please, whatever happens, put your safety first at all times. <laughs> <laughs>